We are rolling. Alright, and, and a one. And a two. Um, welcome to our official second episode of official. the Hardware, Hardware Hipsters. Hipsters, right? That's yes. still the that's still the that's still the We're gonna right? go with that and yes, until okay. something better comes around and I don't okay. think it's gonna. I think it's good. So I've I've accepted that's our name. We can move on now. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> so on today's episode, we're going to be talking about um, the Fritz Jurgens Pivot Systems, which is a really cool product um, that we had started bringing in in around 2015. Um, our managing director went to the BAU, which is a really awesome trade show in Germany, and that's how he ran into the guys from Fritz Jurgens, and they are manufacturers out of the Netherlands. Right. And... Um, the thing that's a little bit different with Fritz Jurgens versus some of the more um, commonly known pivots, which are like the Rixen and the Dorma, is that um, while most of those are assembled into the floor, these actually go into the door. Um, so there's nothing really in the in the header or the floor except these tiny little floor plates. Um, little, little floor plates. Tiny little plates. floor plates. Mm -hmm. um, so there's three different systems from Fritz Jurgens. David, if you want to kind of just outline sure. the difference is a little bit. Yeah, I'll talk about that. Um, <laughs> I'll talk about that. <laughs> sure, why don't I? Why don't you talk about it, David? Um, so this is the first, This is system one, uh, and the numbers uh, refer to the functions. Yeah. So this is one function, rotating. So this pivot um, can hold support up to 500 kilograms or 1,100 pounds, um, and this um, I would think it's simple. the most like the, it's the simplest version. Yeah, just rotates. That's yeah. it. That's all. Double Basic. acting, super easy. You know, it doesn't have hold open. It doesn't have a closing function, but one we, function. Yeah, if you, one. <laughs> yeah, system one. If you have these massive doors that you don't really have a solution to, this is like this is the way to go for it. Right. Um, and it's the lowest profile of them all, I would mm -hmm. think too. It's the sleekest as right. far as getting you know what you actually have to mortise into the door. Right. So this is all you need to mortise into the door, and then this would be the top pivot on the. Um, all of them. Yeah. All, yeah. Yeah. Right. The top pivot is universal for all three systems. Right. So, and um, then you'd have this little guy here is that this is a floor plate and this fits nicely on that. It's like the easiest thing in the world. Right. So the floor plate just has two connection it. points and you just drill these two holes into, into the sill and then there's an epoxy that comes with it right. um, that you use to, to put these, these two connection points into the floor. No, this literally just sits in it. Like, it's the weight of the door that supports it. Exactly. Yeah. And then at the top, for your top pivot, you have the ceiling plate. Ceiling plate. Which is even, like, thinner. Right. So you have two little screw holes, two little screws in your ceiling. So you have these two little nubs in your floor, two little screws in your ceiling. That's it. Super easy. Everything else is in the door. I feel like I could even install that myself. Yeah. Maybe not the door, but <laughs> the hardware I could probably do. Yeah, well, we'll see. Yeah. We should try it one day. I, I'm going to try. We are going to try here one day. We'll we probably videotape that too when we do it so Ooh, everyone can see it. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So, again, system one is super simple. 360 right. degree double acting free swinging pivot. Exactly. Um, system three, a little bit different. System three, um, yeah. System three is right here. They all look a little different. They They're do look like, a little different. Yeah. So this, um, the three now, right, so it's three functions. So it rotates 360 degrees. It, um, it closes um, and it holds open. It hold, <laughs> holds open. Holds open. Yeah. Hold open. Uh, hold, it's got a hold open feature. It does have a hold open for plus and negative 90 degrees. Well, all of them. All of them. Right? Well, 300, yeah. I mean, right. So you could break it up in quadrants. Essentially, the way the System 3 works is like a turnstile, where if you push it a little bit, it'll close back to where you started from. Yeah. But once you go past 45 degrees, it will continue to open. Again, like a turnstile at... Um, it just keeps kind of going. At an amusement park yeah, or whatever, exactly. where it just sort of goes forward as you move forward. So um, this is good uh, bearing capacity up to 500 kilograms just like the system one. But in terms of closing, for the closing and for the hold open to function properly, yeah. they have um, different weight limits and there's different spring strengths 
that you would need to order um, that go up to 200 kilograms or 440 pounds. Well, that's the nice part about it. I mean, you don't want to have, not all doors are the same, so you don't want to have one spring strength you know, universally for all the doors because if one's significantly lighter or, you know, weighs a lot more, right. it could either, you know, do nothing or slam your door into the wall and we don't want that to happen. So they break it up to 40, 70, 110, 200 kilograms. So based on your door weight, you know, we would, you know, you would specify it, whichever spring strength it is the most appropriate and that, that would, you know, ensure that the function works most. Right. Yeah. And the adjustment is nice on like a, a regular, like a Ritson or a Dorma. Yeah. But essentially you have one door that you're using it for. So exactly. if you size it properly, then you never have to adjust anything. Yeah, which so, is great. Which and is great. the key, like, so because of the way that this one works and it's a little bit, um, it's a little bit different than your tra traditional type of closer. As David said before, 45 degrees is like the main point to keep in mind. Mm -hmm. So if you open your door, if your door's at zero and you push it open less than 45 degrees, it's gonna self-close back to zero. But if you open it beyond 45 degrees, it will continue to open and then hold open at the next 90 degree position. Which takes me to my next point, that okay. these are not good for bathrooms. Not because good for bathrooms. if you walk through your door and it opens beyond 45 degrees, and you don't think about it, and you start to get ready to go to the bathroom, you don't want to go running after your door with your pants by your ankles. So, not, not a good look. No, or bedrooms, depending on what you're doing in the bedroom. You don't mm -hmm. want to go running after the door. So these are really good um, for doors that, if you have a door that's going from your kitchen to your dining room, if you want to just walk through the door, and then it continues to open and holds open at 90, and then you can continually go back and forth depending how many courses you're serving. Right, Thanksgiving dinner, yeah, right. exactly. you're going to make a lot of trips. <laughs> so you don't want to, you cannot constantly have to push exactly. the door open. So it is a very specific function, but it's something that isn't out there right now and can actually solve a lot of problems. Right. The other thing it's super cool for is if you have a wall of doors that you want all to right. open at 90 degrees and hold open at 90, it's a really cool look visually. Right. It's like awesome. a conference room or it's a split up different. Exactly. Um, spaces in, yeah. in, in, in a building gym or something like that. Whatever. Yeah, exactly. Very cool. Yeah. So this brings us to the system M, but before we do that, yeah. I think we should touch on what the system four was. The system four. The now deceased system. Oh, four. Not deceased. System it's four. been, what's the word? Reincarnated. <laughs> right. So system four, it's lovely to look at. I think personally, it's like, you know, it's like, I always think of a, like, a, it looks like a castle to me. Oh, like a little nice. castle, yeah. you know? And it's oh, very yeah. regal, the system four. <laughs> um, and this was the four functioning um, yeah. system where all the other three, uh, rotating, closing, and hold open, but then it also has damping, so you can adjust it. Yeah. Right? That's the fourth function. But... What were the problems? I mean, not that there were any problems with it. There were just some restrictions. Well, right. So... Not really problems, like yeah, you said. Yeah, no, not at all. But restrictions. So, restrictions. So the biggest one for the U.S. market was you would need a two-inch door. Yeah. For this to, uh, door thickness. And a lot of times that was fine, but a lot, a lot of times it wasn't because people are using one and three-quarter inch thick doors, and it's just you right. know. Yeah. So then they come along with the, the newest system, system M. System M. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and so the other the other issue that you can see all of those installers here are looking at this is a lot easier a to bit, install. Than that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So thank you for your service system M, but we will not be You've needing been you. Appreciated. I mean system four. But you can rest now. Rest easy. <laughs> your legacy has been taken over. So it does have the same function, really, though. I mean, it has a traditional self-closing, meaning that anywhere between one and eighty-nine degrees, your door is going to self-close back to zero. Um, it does have a hold open at ninety, and again, right. double acting, so it does the same thing in the opposite direction, but. Right. One and three quarter inch door. One and three quarter inch door. And a lot easier to install. Exactly. The other difference um, comes in the floor plate. Yeah, good point. Now, we didn't uh, touch upon it, but with the system three, there's a, a little adjustment here that's done in the bottom of the pivot to adjust the zero position. Because when you're opening it, you have hold opens at every 90 yeah. degrees. 
you want to make sure that it's holding open and flush with your wall or when it's closed at the zero position it's flush with your yeah. wall so when yeah. if, if you do install and it's slightly off from zero there is there's an adjustment that's not readily available in other types of pivots where you can just kind of tweak it right back to where it's supposed to be exactly but it's different with the full, with the m the m yeah. the m there's little um adjustment screws on either side of this floor plate and again this sits is just a friction gravity uh fit uh in there and will sit like that on your floor again the two little nubs um that you have mm -hmm. that's a technical term for nubs. this is the nubs yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well these are hardware people but you so don't know, know what nubs are <laughs> right so um and that's what that's what holds it in place yeah so that's um so the different floor plate otherwise the top pivot ceiling plate Everything's exactly the, the same, same as yeah. the three and the one and the three and the one <laughs> Okay, I'm done. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You sure? <laughs> I think so. You keep going. No, no, I'm done. Um, yeah. What else? So the other cool thing about the system M is that it has the back check function. Back check. And right. I always, I for, in the very beginning, I, I was confused about what that exactly meant. Um, so can you kind of give me some clarification? What that sure. Means? Well, you. back check is really uh, easy to, to understand. It's it's like you don't want your door to swing up like fly yeah. over, right? Yeah. When you're opening it, you want it to sort of slow down um, when it gets to about 90 degrees. Okay. And that's what yeah. back check does. Back check, um, as you're opening the door, it gets harder to open okay. the closer you get to 90 degrees. So if you have a wall parallel to where your 90 degree position would be, right. obviously you don't necessarily want to use, you know, either a floor stop or something. It'll just like, it'll start slowing down when it's it gets there. It'll start slowing down, that's right. nice. Yeah. protect your wall. To protect your walls. Right. <laughs> Plus, if you have like a, another, uh, is it an exterior door, right? If it opens out. Oh, yeah. And the wind catches it. That's right? true. Yeah. You don't want, um, you don't want your door around. slamming you around. So. Very cool. Yes. That's a nice function that it has. <laughs> it nice Back check. So, yeah, that, I mean, that's basically the rundown of the different systems, their mm -hmm. different functions. Um, we get, because it's, it's a new product here in the U.S., we get a lot of questions that are asked. So some we of, do get a lot of questions. A lot of questions. And some of the most frequently asked questions we're going to go through. Um, one, which I think we already went through, was the minimum door thickness. Um, so for all three, it is now one and three quarters. Right. Yes. Yes, that's There's right. a maximum door thickness, just a minimum door thickness. Right. Oh, you know, one thing we actually didn't mention, um, when you're installing these, because they're mortised into the door, again, rather than the floor, you have a minimum distance from the edge of the door to your pivot point, which that's is right. 91 millimeters. 91 millimeters for three and nine sixteenths inches. Thank you for mm -hmm. that. Um, so <laughs> you have to keep that in mind with your opening because it is going to slightly restrict your opening due to that 91 millimeter pivot point. Um, I mean, for most circumstances, it hasn't really been an issue because these the types of doors that these are typically going in are, are very big doors with big openings. But if you do have a, a slightly you know more regular sized door, it's just something to be aware of. Something. And that's the same for all of them. It's all 91 millimeters. Right. The other questions that we get are, are there other finishes? And the finishes. The answer is no. <laughs> yeah. Stainless um, and stainless. Stainless. So yeah, really at this point, um, there are, we don't anticipate any other finishes being available, but really again, you're using these in doors that are, are pretty big, pretty thick. So it's not really, nothing's gonna be visible at all. You know, maybe if you're on your hands and knees and you're on the floor and you're looking at the floor plate, you may see it. Right. Um, or if the door is in the open position, it could potentially be seen a little bit, but. Right, you can see the, the plates, the ceiling, the two floor plates and the ceiling plate are both pretty narrow. Yeah, yeah. And the minimum thickness door will definitely cover. Exactly, the, so when it's so. closed, you're never ever gonna see it. Um, maybe, again, a little bit when it's open, but. You'll right. be crawling on the floor right. to do that. You lose your contact or something. Yeah, exactly. Then you won't see it anyway. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't matter. Um, Good one. What do you got next? Um, well, just uh, construction. These are basically uh, constructed out of stainless steel and aluminum. Yeah. So um, they have fairly good corrosion resistance uh, because of that. 
That's good. Yeah. It's lovely. Yeah, that's no nice. corrosion. No um, corrosion. Can the pivot, David, mm-hmm. be offset oh. in the thickness of the door? Like, does it have to be dead in the center of the door thickness? No, it does not. It, um, you just have to have, again, a minimum amount, obviously, of wood around the door. So, if I had it centered in a door and then I had a cladding applied to one side of the door, would that affect the functionality of it at all? Totally good. You're good to go. So, I could put a mirror anywhere I want and just look at myself constantly. Right. That's exactly. Good. Okay. I just like in, that. Just in case you don't do that already. I know. I do. Right. Um, let's see. What else do I get all the time? What about um, the gaps? The gaps. Okay. So, right. because the pit, the top pivot is universal for all three systems, that's always going to be the same. And that mm-hmm. is ten, 10 millimeters right. all the time. Um, the bottom changes a little bit with the one um, and the three, it's 13 millimeters, which I, I realized before, one and three makes 13. It's mm-hmm. easy to remember that. Mm-hmm. And with the M, it's 11 millimeters. It's a little bit less on the bottom. Mm-hmm. Um, now that we're talking about top pivots, the other question we get a lot is how do you, because at the top pivot, there's a pin that needs to be raised to get to the, the ceiling plate. So that's right there. How do you raise the top pivot on an extra wide or on a very wide door? So mm-hmm. the top pivot, and I don't even know if we really talked about this, the pin needs to be raised from, from the side of the door with the Allen key. Right. So this comes with the set. But only a certain size comes with it. But if you have right. a very wide door and that is in the center of your door, how do you access that? Well, the answer is we give you a very long one of these. Yeah, so, very long one. Yeah. So be, ultimately, we just need to know where the pivot point is. Right. Now, where it gets a little bit tough, um, and I, I, I've found or I've heard that it's easier with metal frame doors because it's easier to just like drill a hole from the edge of the door. That's true. But with wood, it's a little tougher because you have to like build a channel. Right. But you do have to access it from the side of the door. Right. Um, the the bottom, the, there's two adjustment screws on the edge. Uh, so this will be in the edge of your door. So this is how you would uh, do the um, raising up of the pin. It's the bottom one that actually does the raising up of the pin. What adjustment is there in the top pivot? The top pivot, um, well, let me just show this the part, raising the raising of the, of the pin. Yeah. So you want to do this 16 times, go around in a circle 16 times. It's very anticlimactic, the raising I know. of the pin. It's that kind of more slow. exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they'll come with an automatic version. Maybe. But right now, <laughs> that's it. But you want to make sure you do that 16 times. So it fully engages with your ceiling plate. Yeah. Because if that's not engaged with your ceiling plate, your door will just fall over. So yeah, very important. Not 16. something again to mess around. Not something you want to mess around with. And the top, the top adjustment. Now that we have our pivot up, yeah, this will move the pivot slightly. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. Ooh. Well, I can't see it. I'm sitting right here. Yeah, because it's moving towards you. Uh, that's, why <laughs> that's why I can't see it. That's why I can't tell. This is again very <laughs> anticlimactic. But you can see it's offset a little bit now. Yeah, now I top. can. Okay, and um, so that allows you to adjust your door a little bit when it's in the opening. Awesome. Yeah. You know they thought of everything in that Fritz Jurgens factory. That, those Fritz boys <laughs> really know what they're doing. They know how to make a pivot. They that's for do, sure. and the other thing they know how to make is. A solution when we get the question is there an electro electrified version of this and right. there is right um they created basically all they really had to do was change the the top oh, yeah grommeted right right, How right. Did you explain that one? so there's a little basically it's a the pin um for a a, a uh an electrified version is uh, a little bit bigger and they have a hole a 10 millimeter hole or about three eighths of an inch uh, where you could drop a wire into your door. Um, and then your ceiling plate's also a little bigger to accommodate um, the larger pin. But basically the wire goes right into the top of your door and then you chase it in your door for like card reader or be, lights. Yeah, LED panels in the door, right. any kind of electronic mortise lock, all sorts of fun right. stuff you can do. A light for your mirror, perhaps. Could do that, you do a light in the mirror. It's sure. exciting. <laughs> Why not? Um, and yeah, now that we're talking about kind of like the latching mechanisms, what is the best type of latch 
to use for these, and obviously with any pivot doors, it's usually a roller latch or a magnetic latch. Catch. Right. Or a magnetic lock with the new magnetic locks that they yeah. have out there. Um, that way, you don't have um, a strike plate, you know, a big strike plate hanging out there. Yeah. So. So, yeah, I mean, those are the most frequently asked questions that we get. If you guys think mm -hmm. of any more, please feel free to comment or to email into us and let us know. Um, we actually have a a mock-up that we've done of a Fridgerkin's M so you can get a better idea of what this actually looks like when it's installed in the door. Mm -hmm. um, obviously this would not typically be seen, mm -hmm. but it is again very low profile, very cool. Um, this is a Fermani pull, another manufacturer of ours, which I love. Yeah. So just a little shout out there. Yeah, right. um, but yeah, we had this mocked up for the for a trade show that one of our reps just went to and mm -hmm. everyone seemed to love it. Right. Right? Absolutely, yeah. It worked really well. Um, let me just see if I can demonstrate that for you. It's a little tough when it's on a smaller door like this so, for a mock-up because they're meant for big doors, but right. strong David is able to do it. <laughs> not, that, not, not too hard. Um, so that's that's in the, op the hold open, right? And then you just let it go. And there it is, boys and girls. Uh, that's the smooth the closing function <laughs> Uh, I think that is, yeah, that's our rundown for that the Fritz Jurgens Pivot Systems. They are awesome. They are innovative. They are hardware from Mars. They're really hardware cool. From Mars. That's, my, that's my catchphrase for them. And uh, let us know what you think, and we'll be back to see you again soon. Yeah, great. Thanks, Thanks Jessica. Thanks, David. Signing off. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. <laughs>